everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a quick tip for improving the launch time of an Ionic application. Uh, this is just a little simple thing you can do, there are other things that affect launch time, uh, but this is a common thing that uh, can be easily overlooked, and if it is overlooked you kind of get punished with a longer uh, launch screen time than you would otherwise. So for this example, I have a Stencil JS and Ionic application generated. This is just the default uh, starter application. And I've also got Capacitor uh, set up in this as well. Uh, but this same concept applies if you're using Cordova as well. And the basic idea is making sure that we hide the splash screen uh, as soon as possible, rather than letting the, uh, the default time uh, for the splash screen expire. So to show you what I mean by that, I have installed this on my Android device here, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to see this all right. Uh, but I've just got this Ionic splash screen app generated, and if I just tap that, we can see it launch. And you can see that took around about three seconds. And so that's not a terrible launch time, but it's definitely a noticeable wait there. And ideally, if we can, we would want to improve on that time. And so what we have right now, this is a really uh, simple small application so there's really no reason for the launch time to be that long. Uh, the reason that is happening is that the splash screen is displaying, uh, it's waiting the default amount of time and then it's hiding the splash screen after that default time of uh, three seconds. So what we want to do instead is make sure that we hide that splash screen as soon as possible. And so for capacitor that means importing the splash screen plugin and triggering a hide manually. And you can do the same for Cordova, it's just going to look a little bit different. So what I'm going to do here is we're just going to do this in the app home file and we're going to trigger that hide when the uh, component did load hook triggers. So this is going to trigger when the home component has loaded. Uh, that's a pretty good time to do this. Uh, generally, you probably want to wait to hide the splash screen until whatever you're displaying to the user is there and ready, uh, but you could technically probably get a little bit faster uh, launch time if you were to put this say in the app root in a component will load hook for example but this is going to be pretty good for our purposes so what we want to do is we want to import the plugins from capacitor core and this is just generic sort of capacitor uh, api usage if you're not familiar with this stuff i'll link to some other resources you can check out for that and how to get capacitor set up and things like that. And we're going to set up a reference to the splash screen plugin using this destructuring assignment. And then in our component did load, we can just call splash screen dot hide. And so that is going to manually hide the splash screen as soon as this code runs. So what's going to happen is our application will launch. Uh, it will, uh, you know, be loading up this page here, the pages component did load will trigger, and then this code will get triggered to hide the splash screen. And that is gonna happen before that default three seconds expires. So I'm gonna make sure to save that, and then I'm gonna open up the uh, terminal here. We've gotta create a new, new build to uh, make sure our new changes take effect there. I'm going to copy that over to the uh, native Android project that I already have set up. So just run npx cap copy. That's going to copy that over to the Android project. And I only have Android added at this point, not uh, iOS, but the same sort of thing applies there as well. And now we're just going to open it in Android and run that on the phone again. So I'll just hit that play button and I'm gonna deploy that to my Google Pixel again. I'll say okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'll wait for that to uh, load and I'll just completely exit it and go back into it again and show you that. Okay, so the application's installed on the phone now. I've just uh, closed the application after it launched initially. And so now, again, hopefully you can see this, but if I click on the application, you can see it launches there. And now we're talking about probably a launch of maybe one second, maybe even less than that. Uh, but it's definitely noticeably quicker than the first time we did it. And that is purely because we are manually hiding that splash screen, which uh, is a pretty small amount of work, easily overlooked, but easy to add. And it certainly does a lot to improve that uh, launch time. 
And now, as I mentioned, there are other factors that are going to affect your launch time, such as how big the bundle size for your application is, you know, what sort of stuff you're including in your application and whether it's massive or small. Uh, Stencil is pretty good for that in general, just because of how small the bundle sizes are, we can get pretty good launch times, but uh, you can get really good launch times with Angular or whatever other framework you're using as well. But the focus of this video was just on this one little tip here. Uh, make sure you hide that splash screen as soon as you're ready to display the application. Don't wait until it just hides itself. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.